Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a really crazy AI feature that you can use in Photoshop. Basically, it can take your landscape photo, make it look more like summer, winter, fall or spring or you can make it look like some of the presets that they have within the effect. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, which is my favorite place for digital assets. Envato Elements has millions of templates and I personally use a lot of them. The lower thirds in these videos are actually from Envato Elements, along with a lot of assets I use in my client work. Envato Elements is great because you get access to millions of templates for a small monthly fee and you get unlimited downloads as well. If you guys are interested, make sure to check the link in the description to sign up. So right here we're in Photoshop and the first thing you want to do is go over to Filter, Neural Filters. And so this is only available in the newer versions of Photoshop, I believe from CC 2020 and up. So the filter is called Landscape Mixer and it's in beta. So I would assume that this feature is going to get better and have more custom presets you can choose from. So you want to toggle it on, but first you have to download it from the cloud. So I'll probably show this option with the cloud first, but essentially how this works is there's custom presets. So if you want to change this photo here, and make it look more like the preset, you would select the preset or you can choose a custom image from your computer. So let's just say I have another landscape image like this. You're able to do that pretty easily. So you can see as we imported it, it changed. And if you show the before and after, it's not just the color grading that's different. They actually changed like the mountain slightly. You can see the clouds are a little bit different as well. Even the trees are a little bit different. So that's actually Adobe's AI called Sensei. And all these neural filters use this AI. It's pretty uh, amazing. So you can see there's other custom presets. And I would assume these presets are pretty well optimized, meaning that if you choose one of these presets, it probably look better than a random photo you choose. But you can see as I change it, there's really big differences. Like this one looks really nice. You can see this has a sunset. We went from having no sunset, a pretty cool image to having a sunset, which is kind of crazy. So you can choose to select any of these options or what you can do as well is just adjust the current image and make it, for example, have a sunset, make it look more like spring, summer, autumn, or winter. There's also an option to preserve subject. So let's just say we add a sunset. You can see it gets a lot cooler and obviously this photo actually looks like the opposite of sunset. It's really dull and it's really cool. So it's cool that we can just add a sunset. And so this is without preserve subject. So you can see the mountains have a noticeable difference. But if we press preserve subject, then you can see like this bottom portion, which I would assume they think is the subject doesn't change. And there's also harmonize subject as well. And when you click it, although you preserve the subject, which they selected this area as the subject, it still color grades it and sort of blends it in. So let's just say you want a sunset in the summer, which is the opposite of this photo. I would assume this photo is like in the winter. You can do that. You can make it look like the spring, which uh, the greens are greener. Summer, there's more sun and it's a little bit brighter. So you can see instead of having green greens, it's more like yellow. Autumn, I would assume the greens turn like orange. So that's what happens. And it's crazy because the detail isn't lost either. It's actually quite sharp. And then in winter, you can see it turns really, really blue. And actually what I've noticed from this uh, neural filter is it performs a lot better than the other neural filters. If you've ever tried to use any of the other neural filters, whenever you adjust something or change a setting, it takes a lot of time and it uses a lot of RAM. But it seems like this neural filter is like instant change, which is great. And it's only in beta, so I would assume that they're going to add more features like this as well. If you guys want to check out tutorials of the other neural filters, I just made a few videos on them. So I'll link it in the description to my Photoshop playlist. Also, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop yet or you want to get a discount, Adobe's having a promotion where you can get over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. So that includes Photoshop and that's available to you if you're a student or a teacher. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out my Discord channel link in the description as well as pinned comment. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.